How good is Frozen Blaze? That's realistically a question that a lot of people ask because I've seen it all over the forums and a lot of people ask about it. Is Frozen Blaze worth getting? So today I'm going to showcase the weaknesses and strength of this set as the uh, I guess the number one holder of this set, it's number three museum, but that's because old blazer armor could be upgraded and it gives the date. So I have the first possible date of Frozen Blaze. So today I will be showing how strong this set is and how weak it is outside of, for example, Crimson Isles or Dungeons, and what are its strengths and what are its weaknesses. Now for this video I won't actually venture into a dungeon, so you just kind of have to get the scaling there, but it just scaled of the same stats anyway. So basically I'm gonna be kind of just comparing it to Necron, which I finally got my own Necron set, spent like 600 million on this. Kind of regret it because it's basically gonna be used for this video and then I'll probably never use it again. But it's also gonna be compared to my Fiery Crimson with Dominance, which is obviously going to win with Infernal Pants too. So uh, yeah, so first of all I'm just gonna showcase the worst part of Frozen Blaze and that is outside of the Crimson Isles. So just here I... And the, another problem is that I have to use Scorched to get max attack speed and it goes over it and it's just kinda, kinda annoying. And you can see I have so much more strength than crit damage because Frozen Blaze seems to just give way too much strength. So first of all the weaknesses of this set obviously is just here. I'm dealing 700,000 damage. Uh, I don't know if that's high to someone, but that's not high to me. With the Warden Helmet, that's 820k. Probably the lowest amount that I could be dealing over here. Necron should be able to beat that even without a Golden Dragon. I think. Well, with a Golden Dragon, it's gonna be completely destroyed. I will leave the numbers below, so you don't have to just look at this and remember everything. So you can look at that. And the EHP is 75,000. They might be thinking, oh, that's way higher than Necron, yes, but will that come into much use? Early on, yes. Uh, there is Atoned Horror, there's maybe Void Glooms if you don't get Final Destination. Which actually my first tier, tier 4 Void Gloom was in uh, Frozen Blaze, but anyway, that set is very tanky. That's kind of its main point. And, uh,. Let me just showcase, without the Warden Helmet, 77,000 DHP. I don't have Dominance Equipment, so this could be a lot stronger. But anyway, uh, you can see that the damage is not very high. The main strength of this set is basically, it's pretty weak without any upgrades, but the Blaze Pet will increase its stats by 40%. It will double the Potato Box, which will also be doubled, and uh, Obviously, to get the max out of this pet, you want to be in the nether, the green panels. So that perk isn't coming into play here. So that's why it's kind of weak here. And if you're not going to do any crimson Isles stuff, or dungeon stuff, I would not recommend getting Frozen Blaze. It is not very good here, I will say. It gets the job done, and it's very versatile, but that's basically about it. Uh, bow damage here. It's gonna be around almost 600k with the overload proc. Yeah, 584,000 damage. Now let's switch to Necron. Necron, obviously, everyone knows Necron. They will say it's better than Frozen Blaze, which will debatable. And uh, basically, it should deal more damage. Let me just switch to the optimal setup here. I think that's it. No, that's definitely not it. I think the optimal one for uh, Dragon is this. Yup, that's the optimal one. 876k, so slightly more than the Warden Helmet without the Warden Helmet. So, you can see Necron already rocking that high damage. We had a million there, I think that was like Ring of Love. The HP, 60,000. So the HP is around, I think that's like... 33% less... No, that's like more 25% less, 30% less. But you get damage of around... What is that, like... 10% more? However, with the Warden Helmet, you get... Uh, 
62k DHP. So again, that's pretty similar to the... No, actually, that's probably like a 50% DHP loss, but you gain 1 million damage. Uh, well, you don't, but I can. You might, I don't know. So I have... That's like a 200k increase, so that's like 25% more damage for losing out on... How much HP? Like 50%? So that's just a positive trade. Like, y you would say that damage is more than EHP. In most cases, it is. Necron does have less speed, but I don't think that's like a big deal. You can put Max on both. Don't say that, oh, you can't put it on for some place. But as you can see, Necron is just better with a G drag here. A e drag. <laughs> with G drag? Oh, with G drag, it should become like a complete catastrophe. It's gonna deal like a billion damage more. Well, first of all, let's look at the bad side, which is that I have 52,000 HP. That's like 66% of Frozen Blaze, but let me guess 1.3. 1.3, yeah, 1.3 million damage. So 33% of your HP lost for literally. How much is that? <laughs> I think like 60% more damage or whatever. Yeah, Golden Dragon. Absolutely busted bet, I will say that. However, well, we'll get to the Crimson Isles soon. First of all, let's make fun of both sets by putting on my Crimson Armor. Oh. Huh, that's not that much more. That's almost 1.5 million. Full set's gonna be 1.3 million. So similar to G-Drag without the Warden Helmet. Which is actually pretty interesting. I thought... This one was way more. I mean, it is way more, and I have more HP probably. Yeah, f I have more HP and more damage than Necron. So, yeah. I would get this to Infernal, but my uh, essence isn't. <laughs> you know. I'm not getting it yet because it seems to have risen again. I'll get that at some point. I have some money to spare, although I do wanna max out this set, which I have three god rolls to, which will be a future video. Anyway. Now I want to show the funny normal blaze, uh, how good this is, because no one actually uses normal blaze. Simply for the reason of, oh, frozen blaze is better, it's not that much of an increase. Which is true, but frozen blaze is way more expensive, and uh, I think this can still, that's not, that is the right setup. This actually still deals like pretty okay damage, 600k with ward and helmet. 734,000. So you're losing about 10% of your damage. And you're losing about 10% or... Yeah, about 10% of both stats with normal blaze. And you... It's like 40 million cheaper. Obviously, with the Warden Helmet, this is gonna look disgusting. But, you know, the aura isn't that good. It does look better than the Frozen Blaze set. So actually, if you're early on playing, normal blaze with the blaze pets can be really good. Obviously, you won't get this maxed. This doesn't have Legion either, so I, I guess I could get the stats a bit higher. Because I think it can Watchdog. And yourself. So, yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the Crimson Isles. And this is where a lot of stuff changes. So first of all, let's go with e -drag Necron, which is going to be the worst combination. By far. Yeah, it should be easily the worst combination. The setup for this was this, I think. Yep. That is that. So, I will be dealing without the Warden Helmet. Oh, oh damn. Rampart Helmet Recomp. He's gonna be dealing 1.5 million with my Soul Eater, so... Yeah. Not not bad, you know, 1.5 million. Seen worse, seen worse. If we put on the Warden Helmet, we're gonna be dealing 1.5 Almost 1.7 actually. Yeah, almost 1.7 million damage. There is 1.7 million damage. So you know, it's not horrible. 1.7 million isn't bad. Where it does get horrible is when we look at the HP, which is gonna be 67,000. Now I'm actually thinking, oh, that's not so bad. Uh, well, I'll just show later. Now, the Ender Dragon actually loses to the Blaze Pet, even with Necron here. So I should be dealing more, yep. Almost 1.8 million damage with the Blaze Pet Necron, and the HP is gonna go 80,000 HP, as you can see, E-Drag. 
kind of a skill issue. Now, let's just, while we're here, do nothing, because I think that's... Well, okay, fine. We'll do uh, Crimson Blaze. Crimson Blaze is coming in with uh, 88,000 EHP. That's pretty high. And again, pretty similar damage to Necro. Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, yeah, no word in Hornet. My bad, my bad. Uh, 1.9. Almost 2 million damage with a Blaze pet. And uh, with E-Drag. Uh, e Not E-Drag. I'm going to be dealing... Yeah, 1.8 million. So, if you ever think about, oh, which is better, E-Drag or Blaze Pet, just don't, don't use E-Drag. Like, if you're not doing Void Gloom or outside of Crimson Isles, it never really has any use. Anyway, let's get to the uh, Blaze setup. Which I actually have ready, yeah. Because now this works for this. Yeah, I have this right amount of uh, stats. So, uh, Normal Blaze. Normal blaze is going to be dealing 1.5 million damage, right? So 1.5 million damage with 86k EHP. So it's already beating Necron in EHP by like 10%. And its damage is gone... Well, let's put on the Warden Helmet. Its damage will be... Sorry, I have thorns. I should remove that. It's damage, for Necron's damage compared to Blaze with E-Drag, or Blaze it's having, is going to be less than 10% better, and normal Blaze is going to be more than 10% EHP, which means normal Blaze is similar to Necron, E-Drag, or Blaze pet. So, don't use Necron here, except if you have a Golden Dragon. Let's move on to Frozen Blaze here, which is where things get a bit crazy, honestly. Frozen Blaze in the nether is pretty insane. So, without the helmet of wardening, we deal about 1.7 million damage. That's pretty similar to Necron, but instead of the, what was it, 60k HP, we have... Well, with Legion it's gonna be 100,000 HP. So, that's like, almost double the EHP of Necron for the same damage, basically. If we put on the Warden helmet, which has wisdom for some reason, don't ask, uh, probably with Legion would be around 100k too, 98k, 99k, and we're gonna be dealing 1.86 million. So, yeah, Necron just loses the Frozen Blaze flat out. Like, the Necron with E-Drag and Blaze has 40% less EHP and less damage. Now, for the final thing, I wanna show Golden Dragon here. Let's start with Necron. Because, you know, Golden Dragon is busted. That's like the best pet in the game easily. Obviously 1 billion bank dive 2.5, I think. Hurts to lose 600 million for uh, Necron, but I might use it someday. So Hurtful, yeah, and we got full crit damage. That's like, what, four attack speed overflow? But I can't really get rid of that, <laughs> unless I s change some enrichments only. So Necron is going to be dealing 2 million damage. So Necron now deals 10% more, a bit less than 10% more damage than Frozen Blaze, and has 56k HP, so half HP. So what I'm telling you is Necron is never worth it in the Crimson Isles. There's not a single point in the game where you're gonna use Necron in the Crimson Isles. Would you want double A HP or like 5% more damage? Yeah. You know the answer to that. Now we're just gonna put on Crimson and uh, do some funnies, which is a lot of damage is gonna be dealt. 2.15. So this is around, let's say, 20% uh, more damage than Frozen Blaze with uh, an armor set that costs maybe like 500, 600 million base because of that one infernal piece. And I have 61,000 HP. Okay, so. Recap. Fiery Crimson with one Infernal Piece, I'm sorry, <laughs> I have one Infernal Piece, deals 20% more damage than Frozen Blaze, but has 40% less EHP. And costs way more. And even if you upgrade it to Infernal, it's not going to be much better. Like the stats, obviously if you get 15 star Infernal, it's pretty busted. But as you can see, Crimson Isles Frozen Blaze is 
the best armor in the game before you get 15 star infernals or just infernals I guess overall because I'd still run them over uh... from the place now oh, oh Jesus so this has also dominance which means that oh yeah I don't have legion on my crimson because I need my mana so you can put that okay well actually fair because wisdom lowers the damage from legion but dominance gives it back so it's just ignore the dominance that I was gonna talk about however it does have vitality which has like a lot more healing than frozen blaze so yes crimson has what is it 40% less EHP for not much more damage but you get the magic find from the golden dragon and you get the insane heals from vitality so crimson realistically if you have golden dragon can beat frozen blaze at like high star fiery so I'm not saying crimson is bad just I'm saying frozen blaze is good and so is crimson so yeah as you can see what that's not soul leader yeah 1.859 so yeah that's basically the kind of the end of it I don't really have much to show now dungeons is a different thing because you can't use Crimson in dungeons, so it's basically Necron versus Frozen Blaze. I did do both testing on only one thing. But, uh, yeah, so Necron is going to end up dealing uh, way more damage in dungeons. I think it's like, if you have Golden Dragon, it's gonna end up dealing like 30% more damage ish if you get the Blessing scaling. And Frozen Blaze is gonna have like double the HP, so you know I I understand why people run Necron in dungeons, especially for M7 where you can use the Ender Dragon pet because the Ender Dragon pet is really strong against uh what is it uh, Enderman so Ender Dragons. You should try the bow damage here. Yeah, okay, so it's pretty similar. Which I'm just gonna show this fast. So the thing is, the Ender Dragon pet is so strong that you're realistically never going to use. Uh, never really going to use. Oh, that was with. Uh, never mind. Ignore that last testing. I did bow with Blaze pet, but you're realistically gonna use the Ender Dragon pet anyway. I'm just gonna show get this here. So Ender Dragon Crimson. 1.8 million. 1.8 million outside of the Crimson Isles. Obviously, we can get the Atom Split here. I still have it, right? Yeah, Atom Splitter. 2.9 million. 2.7 million. This is without Soul Leader. Then we 2.8 million damage. Necron is gonna be dealing obviously way more than Frozen Blaze, simply because of the Ender Dragon Pet. 2.6 million. 2.7 million. Oh god, Ender Helmet, let's go. Obviously, the HP is still gonna be really low, but Frozen Blaze here is not good. If there's one area where you shouldn't use Frozen Blaze, it's definitely here. Uh, let me just show you this. Uh, so it should be Scorched, I think, because I don't get the 10%, which is mostly where my damage just leaves. But 1.6 million damage with the Blaze Pet. And look at this. If we put on the Ender Dragon pet with Frozen Blaze, okay, well that was crit. 2.1 million. So, uh, yeah, D do not use this uh, this setup with an Ender Dragon pet or a Blaze pet while you're doing Void Glooms. Now, as extra, I could show Jim Lion here, my Lion pet, because the Lion pet is actually pretty busted. Also. Uh, just quickly, as like, <laughs> well, I have a video on Lion vs. Sea Dragon, Lion wins, so like, pretty simple. We just take off the Atom Split and we're gonna hit a mob. What setup are we at now? That's a bit bad, we want to change that one to Hurtful Max Attack Speed, I think was the setup. Well, actually, in Jim Lion, it's gonna be less because I don't get Max Attack Speed, so I need a little bit more. We're gonna be dealing 1.2 million here. With E-Drag, we're gonna be dealing 1.1 million. 
So, yeah, another thing is obviously that you don't need Necron E Drag. Like, Necron E Drag is similar to Frozen Blaze, but quite a lot worse. But you can just run Lion Pet for a very cheap pet that does more than E Drag, at least for the first three hits. So, you know, because I think that is affected by, um, what is it, a triple strike. But I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, in conclusion, Frozen Blaze, outside of dungeons, outside of Crimson Isles, no go. Unless you don't have anything else. Frozen Blaze still works, it's very very tanky, but its damage is lackluster. In dungeons, Frozen Blaze is very useful because your damage is bloated anyway, so you're going to be killing everything instantly and you're going to have way more HP. And finally, Frozen Blaze in Crimson Isles is king. If you need a Crimson Isle set, get Frozen Blaze. Uh, and even Normal Blaze will beat Necron in the Crimson Isles. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll leave all the numbers below so you can just recheck that. This is with, done with a Withered Claymore, so there won't be any randomized numbers. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, which will maybe be Wrecking the Lumber. Bye.